is chilly, no doubt about that, right? And definitely felt that kind of winter blast over the weekend, especially yesterday. We we're getting those spits of rain and then snow showers. Got about a half an inch of accumulation officially in Indianapolis. We may have more on the way coming our way this afternoon, but we're waking up quiet and cold. 29 now. A lighter west wind around 8 miles per hour, but it does send the chills into the lower 20s here in Indy. These are air temperatures. Uh, most of us below freezing. Terre Haute, Kokomo, I mentioned Indy, French Lick, uh, all sitting at 29 degrees. 27, one of the chillier spots right now up in Tippecanoe County. Lafayette, same thing in Evansville, 33, just above freezing in Fort Wayne. South Bend, you're checking in at 36 degrees. You factor in those winds anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. We do see chills sliding into the upper teens up in Howard County here for this morning. We may see these numbers actually tick down a few degrees between now and let's say daybreak in that 7 o'clock hour. Local view of Storm Tracker is quiet. I think of much of the morning. We're going to be very quiet here and probably fairly bright once the sun comes up at 7 o'clock this morning. But what we will be watching is another system coming out of Canada, just like yesterday. A quick hitter, not a lot of moisture with it. It is producing snow right now in Minnesota, Iowa, parts of western Illinois. Uh, I think as temperatures warm just a little bit through the afternoon, we'll likely mix in some rain with some of that snow as it approaches our neighborhood today. 29 as you start off the school day this morning, 37 the best that we can do. So again, running well below average by nearly uh, 20 degrees. So we're very chilly here and we'll have that rain snow mix possible for the afternoon. Let's walk you through the timetable here. Storm track eight future cast again morning dry. I think we'll see those clouds kind of building as we get closer to lunchtime. And this is at midday where you can see kind of that wintry mix sliding in from the north and west. Uh, rain and snow, mainly for the central and northern parts of the state. And again, no accumulation really expected. Could hang around for the evening drive. This is at 6 o'clock from Indian Points North. I don't think this is going to create slick spots, but you could have a couple of bursts of snow that may lower visibility a little bit. Overall, I don't expect major problems here for the evening commute. This will be gone by around mid evening and then we'll quiet things down. Here's the good news. A warm front then starts to slide up. It will make for a chilly start tomorrow morning, but our temperatures will hover into the lower 30s and then we'll start to see warmer air coming our way. Upper 30s and lower 40s for highs today. Tomorrow does look better as you'll start off with lows in the low 30s, but that colder air then starts to shift to New England and we start to kind of flatten this out a little bit. And that will start uh, a nice warming trend in the Peterman Brothers heating and cooling eight day forecast from 38 today to 57 on Tuesday, 64 on Wednesday. Scattered showers possible. We do return back to the 40s for Thursday and Friday. Thank you, Marcus.